At a time when gas prices were at a mere 35 cents per gallon, and when mankind's first footsteps were pressed into the surface of the moon, the 1969 Hearst Olds was launching itself down the track as one of the mightiest muscle cars of the decade. Let's find out what makes Hearst Olds, and specifically this one in particular, so special. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to Garage Gear. I'm JB. And I'm at Basil Toyota in Lockport, New York. And this is the 1969 Hearst Olds. Let's crack open the history books here for a second. This Hearst Olds didn't have the fastest trip down the assembly line. In fact, in order to get around GM engine restrictions on intermediate sized cars, Oldsmobile took these cars across town in Lansing, Michigan to Demmer Engineering, where the remainder of all the unique Hearst components were added. The cars were then effectively sold back to Olds for dealer distribution. Orders went through the roof despite the fact that production was limited. And speaking of limited, listen to how limited this line of vehicles was. There were 906 of these Hearst Olds produced, and we are looking at number 24. This Hearst Olds tells a very unique story. Now, from what I've been told, there were 13 people working for Hearst that did all the modifications. And this specific car was built for one of those Hearst employees. And that word limited comes up again here. From what I've been told, you had two choices back then. Air conditioning or performance gears. It was really one or the other. This Hearst Olds behind me has both. Only 300 of the 906 had AC, making this one twice as nice. Let's dig a little deeper here, shall we? It has the HO option, which includes the engine fresh air package, twin inlet mailbox hood scoops for fresh air induction, dual outside English racing mirrors, 15 by seven wheels, power front disc brakes, an absolutely gorgeous rear deck air spoiler, and a trumpet style dual exhaust hiding down below. And let's not forget about hand applied black pinstriping. All 1968 and 1969 models were done by the same guy. That's crazy. He must have had the world's steadiest hands. That guy had two career choices, surgeon or Hearst pinstriper. I think we can all agree he chose the cooler of the two. And speaking of colors and color schemes, this is the Cameo White with Fire Frost Gold. It's got a beautiful flat black painted grill four headlights, and chrome bumpers with curves in all the right places. I'll tell you, this front end hits you like a direct punch from Muhammad Ali. Let's pop the hood on this bad boy. Oh, here we go. 455 cubic inch Rocket V8. It's rated at 380 horsepower and over 500 foot pounds of torque. This engine has a factory matching number and does zero to 60 in 5.9 seconds. Sound test coming in three, two, one. Time to get in. Check out this interior. Loving the pattern and texture here. This is gorgeous. It's in outstanding shape. They even brought the Fire Frost Gold from the outside in and stamped it into the headrest. Taking a look at our door panel here, we got the same great leather material here on the side. We have the Oldsmobile logo stamped in. We have power door locks, power windows, and a leather armrest here in the middle. Wow, this thing even smells like a classic car. Seats feel good. Simple, simple, simple. Forget about all the crazy current gadgets and garbage on all the new cars. This thing wins on its simplistic design. Tilt adjustable steering wheel, power steering, and a super thin design. Style, it is a plenty in here. Oldsmobile logo here in the center. I like how they carried that wood grain design into the ends of the steering wheel. And take a look at this dashboard. I love how they sunk in these air vents. You have your lights here and your wiper washer on this side. We have our temperature, oil, and fuel gauges here on the left. We have our speedometer and odometer here in the middle. And here's a blast from the past, a tick-tock tack. It's got a clock in the center and a tachometer around the outside. This Hearst came with AC, as I mentioned earlier. You have your rear defogger switch, your radio, your lighter, a tuck-away ashtray, and an eight-track down below. This shifter is sweeter than your first date. This is what's known as a his and hers shifter, and over here on this 
side you have your automatic. You can flip it over and go into a manual mode here on the right. By the way, these cars were all automatics. And you can even seat two of your adult friends comfortably here in the back. Shut the trunk up. Look at how much room you have back here. Compared to new cars nowadays, that is a ton of space. You even have a full-size spare and a trunk light. The current owner of this Hearst Olds purchased it in October of 2020. The mileage on the purchase date was 26,984 miles. The owner decided to take his father for a spin and give him a little blast from the past and tick that odometer over 27,000 miles. This Hearst now has 27,809 magical miles on it. And in terms of gas mileage, it's not about miles per gallon. It's about smiles per gallon. Oldsmobile dared to be different, and the Hearst Olds gave them that much-needed youthful shot of adrenaline that they were looking for. Now, it is one thing to have a classic car in front of you, but it's a whole nother thing to have a classic car in front of you with all the documentation. This is a frame series of photos of documentation on the Hearst Olds. According to this document and the VIN number, this was number 24. From 1988, here is a copy of the receipt of some rebuilds and repairs done to the vehicle, including shocks, U-joints, and an engine rebuild. In 2008, the Hearst underwent a partial rotisserie restoration. I'll explain that further in just a moment, but here is the sales receipt. And this is pretty cool. This is a list of spotter tips. It mentions the Fisher body tag located under the hood, the VIN number and where it's located, and the engine stamp number, which is mentioned earlier in the video. Looks like we have a final inspection and shipping receipt. This is pretty cool. It looks like we have Bill Demmer's signature from Demmer Engineering here at the bottom, and the number 24 is highlighted. We have some delivery receipts. Here we have a list of Hearst representatives, and it looks like Rocco Zito was the original owner of this Hearst Olds. And down below, copies of the Protecto plate with Rocco Zito's name on it. We also have a binder full of goodies here. This page represents the optional equipment. We see the performance rear axle, the super stock two wheels, and the instrument cluster rally pack. This picture here states an identification code of 03D, which means that it was built between the fourth week of March and the fifth week of May in 1969. This was a very early car. Here is the SH code of the 323 Posi differential. Here is another look at the differential. As mentioned earlier, this was a partial rotisserie restoration. Basically what that means is that they pull the body off of the frame, restore the frame, and then restore the parts as they go back on. They used all body original parts, and floors were all original with no rust. Here is a look at the trunk being restored. Here is another panel going through restoration. A fender and a door. A side shot of the restoration. A shot of the whole car in the restoration process. Hood, fenders, doors, and what also looks like the trunk and the mirrors. Here's the inside of the door with the vacuum door locks and the power window linkages. They even used the original 442 Olds hood. And they even showed the Hearst hood air cutout. They drilled four holes and then cut out the hole. We even have the new vehicle warranty, the original owner's manual, plus the original protecto plates from the first two owners. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a good hard look at the 24th, 1969 Hearst Olds to roll off the assembly line. For even more cool car reviews, check out my links down below in the description. And don't forget to follow me further at Garage Gear JV on Instagram. Know someone that owned a Hearst Olds in the past or desperately wanted one? Then please share this video with them and help me grow this channel. If you enjoyed this video, give me one of these. And if you are feeling the vibe and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe so that way you can stay up to date with everything going on here at Garage Gear. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage.